So today we're going to be finding out what's in a Black & Decker Firestorm battery powered electric drill. So for this drill I don't have the battery pack, which is why I'm taking it apart. I don't believe this one works, so it's a good subject to take apart. If you haven't seen my other videos, uh, definitely check them out. I take apart a lot of different things. I've taken apart some uh, tools, so you'll be able to see what's in those compared to electric version, or sorry, corded version versus battery powered. So very similar, but just a little different. So let's get started. These Black & Decker ones have been around forever. There's a lot of uh, better, higher quality ones, Rigid, Milwaukee, DeWalt, um, you know, a lot, a lot of those different guys, but Black & Decker has been making drills for a long time. I don't really know the durability of them as I haven't really worked with one myself. I No, I take that back. I did have one a long time ago. Uh, it was just a battery powered screwdriver though if i remember right it wasn't a drill so i don't really have any experience with just the drill so if you do definitely comment below let me know your experience are they junk did they last quite a while for the money that type of thing as i'm not sure kind of had one can't say Seem to be put together pretty well though so and they are pretty heavy so it would come to reason that it's pretty durable but that's not always the case so let's see let's get a flat screwdriver here and see if we can pop this guy apart there we go so we have the housing here just a piece of plastic We'll get rid of that and inside you can see we have the meat and potatoes of it we have the battery uh, terminal comes in and goes through the trigger and let's just take that all apart why don't we? just another piece of injection molded plastic on the back side with a spring for the trigger we'll get rid of that and a little piece of plastic slide for the uh, one to two function slower speed versus higher speed get rid of that all right so this is where the battery terminals connect comes in through this switch just goes right into the post here and it has a just a flip you push this button in the trigger and this little terminal flips down Connects the power. Pretty simple design. It's pretty cool. I thought it might be more complicated than that, but it's not. So that's a good thing. Let's take some of these pieces off while we got them. Get the junk out of our way. The pieces we've already talked about. This one connects up. This went to the back. I'm not sure what this is, honestly. I don't know if this is some type of like heat sink cooler. It's really lightweight. Feels like aluminum. I'm honestly not sure what that is. If you know what that is, please comment in uh, down below. Let me know. I'm, I'm curious. I haven't seen one of those in a uh, drill before, but I hadn't taken apart a cordless drill. So that may be something that's unique to those. So please definitely let me know if you know. So it has another wire coming out, coming up just to the LED light for there's a little electronic level in there, a little added function that uh, Black & Decker did. Apparently they just come right off though. So we'll get rid of that. We'll go down here to the motor and let's get rid of that. this is just the chuck same as uh, a corded one except usually the corded ones you have manual chuck on it this pulls right off so this is your chuck 
it's uh, injected into this, so can't really get that apart. But it just has these three metal pieces or fingers that come up, uh, come together, screw bit or drill bit, whichever you choose. That's pretty cool though. This is replace, replaceable, it appears. Uh, quick connect, registered trademark. So that's something uh, by Black & Decker, even though every maker makes them just a whole, little different, it appears. It's pretty cool. All right, well, let's take the end of this off, see how much of it we can get apart. As you know, this piece I'm holding with my left hand is just a small copper bearing motor. And they're all the same. They just have some copper wrapped around a axle, basically. They're usually epoxied in, so it's super, super tough to get the copper out if you're trying to scrap it. It is possible. The easiest way is with a bandsaw or a good, uh, saw saw and just cut it otherwise you will waste half your life trying to get that copper out but it can be done so all right so we only got four screws on this end so we'll see what's going on here I'm watching a I think it's an Amazon van pulling up to neighbor's house. It's kind of odd how Amazon hires out package delivery now. It's kind of creepy too, because sometimes they show up in weird, sketchy vans and they hop out and put a package on the porch. So anyway, all right, cool. All right, so this has a bunch of little gears in it. Break out the Leatherman here, see if I can pull any of these gears out. Looks like they're once again, injection molded into the base of this, but I think we can get at least one out. Let's see if we can, oh, yep, yeah, we can get the other one out. So these are the gears. There's several in here. They rate, they uh, get the torque for the drill from this little copper bearing motor. Yeah, that's it. It's molded onto the axle there, but might be able to get this one out too. Let's see. Mm, no. Let's see. Can we? No. So it's a nice try. Anyway, you can see right there, this copper bearing motor spins around. As that axle spins, it turns this gear here, spins these smaller gears, transfers it to the larger gear transfers it down to the chuck through here in the other piece I showed you. There's another gear and a few more. It's amazing how many gears go into these, isn't it? Let's see if I can get this big one. Yeah, yeah. So a big one came out. And that is it, because the rest is molded into that. We had a bunch of these little steel uh, steel beads, though. They were right in here in those little holes in the plastic. I don't know if you can see that or not. Creating a small bearing that this spins on. That's pretty cool though. All right. All right guys, as always, if you would please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have ideas for future videos, let me know. And if you have something you'd like to send me to take apart, always feel free to do that. All right guys, thank you. Have a good day, bye.